This video talks about the toxicities of phenytoin. Now we all know that phenytoin has a lot of toxicities and sometimes it can be a little difficult to remember all of them. So that's why this mnemonic I found was very, very helpful to remember the toxicities of phenytoin. So let's get right into it. So the mnemonic is light and mops. Okay, so light L stands for lymphadenopathy and then I stands for induction of P450, G stands for gingival hyperplasia, H stands for hirsutism, and T stands for teratogenic. Now it causes a fetal hydantoin syndrome. That's the syndrome that is caused by the toxicity of phenytoin onto the fetus. So again, light stands for L for lymphadenopathy, I for induction of P450, G for gingival hyperplasia, H for her citizen and T for teratogen. And so that's the first one. Moving on to end. And stands for ataxia, nystagmus, and diplopia. So all those, uh, um, all those symptoms that has to do with balance. Okay, so ataxia, nystagmus, and diplopia. Moving on to MOPS, you do have to keep in mind that there's two M's and there's two S's. Okay, light and MOPS. So M stands for megaloblastic anemia. The second M stands for malignant hyperthermia. O really doesn't stand for anything, that's why I put a cross in the middle. P stands for peripheral neuropathy. S stands for SLE. And the other S stands for sedation. And that's it. Those are all the toxicities of phenytoin. If you would like to know how each toxicity come about, please leave me a comment below and I will make a separate video on exactly how the toxicities come about from phenytoin. Hope you liked it and please let me know if you found this helpful.